sitting round the campfire singing songs of yore. Playing till my fingers are sore cause they always want one more. Yeah, we're sitting around the campfire singing songs of yore. Playing till my fingers are sore on the campfire troubadour. A good day to you fine gentlemen and ladies. And thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Now they call me Two Wives, the Campfire Troubadour, singing songs of yore and songs about yore. Now today I'll be singing a song called Brennan on the Moor. Now while still quite young, William Brennan's family was evicted from their family farm in Ireland. His mother was taken sick bed and saved from homelessness and want by the generous love and hospitality of the local populace. But her death followed quickly upon the event and thenceforward Willie Brennan became an outlaw, resolved to protect the poor from the despotism of petty tyrants. He took to the Kilworth Mountains as well as the roads of North Cork and Southern Tipperary. Following his capture he was Clyde at Clonmel, found guilty and hanged in the year 1804. Now nearly every British school child knows the story of the highwayman Dick Turban and his wonderful mare, Black Bess, whom he once rode the 150 miles from London to York in a mere 19 hours. Now Turpin was hung in York in 1739. Now the ten pence mentioned in the song in verse 6 was a small musket that was popular with the Patriots and which, as the name suggests, could be purchased for ten pence each. In today's money, that would be approximately $3.50. Cause of a brave young highwayman, this story I will tell. His name was William Brennan, and in Ireland he did dwell. Twas on the Kilworth Mountain he commenced his wild career. And many a wealthy gentleman before him shook with fear. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Now a brace of loaded pistols he carried night and day. But he never robbed a poor man upon the broad highway. And what he'd taken from the rich like Turpin and Black Bess, he always did divide it with the widows in distress. He was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Both brave and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Well, he fell in with the Pac-Man, his name was Peddler Brown. They both jogged on together till the day began to dawn. Then the Peddler, finding his money gone, likewise his watch and chain. He at once encountered Brennan, and he robbed him back again. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Now Brennan, finding the peddler as good a man as he, he took him on the highway his companion for to be. Peddler Brown threw his pack away and without any more delay. And he proved a faithful comrade until his dying day. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. One day upon the highway as Willie he went down, 
He met the mayor of Cashel a mile outside the town. The mayor knew his features, and he said, young man, said he, your name is William Brennan, and you must come along with me. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Now Brennan's wife had gone to town, provisions for to buy. And when she saw her Willie, she commenced to weep and cry. Hand me a ten pence, her beloved Willie spoke. Instead, she handed him a blunderbuss from underneath her cloak. And it was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Now with his loaded blunderbuss, the truth I will unfold. He made the mayor to tremble, and he robbed him of his gold. One hundred pounds was offered for his apprehension there. So he, with horse and saddle, to the mountains did repair. And it was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan. Brennan, he's an outlaw upon the mountains high. With cavalry and infantry to take him, they did try. He laughed at them with scorn until at last his say. By a false hearted young lass, he basely was betrayed. And it was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the Brave and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. It was on the Tipperary, a place they called Shamor, where Brennan and his comrade that day did suffer sore. They lay amongst the ferns that was thick upon the field. Nine bullet wounds did Brennan receive before he would yield. And it was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. They both were taken prisoner and in irons they were bound. And so conveyed to Clonmel jail, strong walls did them surround. They were tried and there found guilty, and the judge made this reply. For robbing on the broad highway, you're both condemned to die. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan. Farewell unto my dear wife and to my children three. Likewise, my aged father, he may shed tears for me. And to my loving mother, who tore her locks and cried, saying, I wish my Willie Brennan in your cradle you had died. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan. Brave and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Well, they hung Brennan at the crossroads, in chains he swung and died. But still they say that winter nights bold Brennan he doth ride. They say that with his blunderbuss all in the midnight chill, Across the Kilworth Mountains rides bold Willie Brennan still. It was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Where he was
was Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Bold, brave, and undaunted stood young Brennan on the moor. Well, thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. I hope you enjoyed our time together and may have even learned a wee bit. So until we meet again, I remain your humble servant, Two Wives, the Campfire Troubadour.